Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Keegan Van Hook, and today I have eyeshadow on, because that's what happens when you're an actor. But really, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to resolve some of the issues that you might be facing with your unidirectional condenser microphone. In most of the videos that I've seen where people are using such microphones, the audio is only coming in on one track, meaning that the audio is only coming in on the left or the right side, and that's a bad thing. You don't want that. So, I looked around a little bit on the internet, and I really couldn't find any tutorials on how to resolve this issue, so I decided to make one for myself. So, and so for the last time. So, without further ado, I like cheese a lot. It's a yummy food, okay? Okay, so not only was that last clip pretty disgusting, but the audio was also only on one track, which is the issue that we're here to address. So, I have the I like cheese clip right here. I'm going to go into Audacity, and I'm going to open it. Okay, so now you can see here that there are two tracks. There is this one and this one. In my case, this is the left track, um, but in your case, it might be either the left or the right. It depends on what kind of unidirectional condenser microphone you indeed have. So the way to fix the issue of it only being on the left side is going up to tracks, and you can turn your stereo track to mono, making it just one track and this track will play equally through both headphones you actually can adjust it a little bit on this scroller bar but I like to keep it center you will want to adjust it if you have uh, a character being either on one side or the other um, but otherwise just leave it the same so now we're going to export that and uh, I'm saving it to the desktop as a WAV file, but you could save it as another type of audio file if you wanted to. Um, so I'll save that. Um, this area here is just to add the certain info that you might want to add. It could be handy. I don't usually use it because what I'm using Audacity for is a very simple thing. So that's good. It does this little loady thing. And off to the side here, you can see that I now have that WAV file. Okay, so I'm going to take the two clips that I have now imported into my editor, which for me is HitFilm, but for you it could be something different. This process should work mostly the same no matter what program you're using. So I'm going to take my original clip and I'm going to insert it into the project like that. So now they're in. I'm going to delete the original audio and take the new one and just stick it right in under there. It should be all synced up. You might want to play with the, uh, the, the adjustments a little bit, but once you have that in there, you should have this. I like cheese a lot. It's a yummy food, okay? Okay, so that was a lot better. That's pretty much all there is to this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, then I would really urge you to, of course, like the video so that others can see how to fix the unidirectional condenser microphone problem. So, that being it, this is Keegan Van Hook, signing out. <laughs>